I have too much to say. I'll try to cut it and speak quickly. Uh, Comrade Diane, uh, in reporting about one of the countless demonstrations and confrontations we've had uh, with Klan and Nazis and so on, reminded me of one of Leslie's many succinct expressions. She used to say all the time, when there's 10 Klansmen and 2,000 cops protecting them, there are 2,010 Klansmen. <laughs> Leslie had, people have mentioned it in different ways, but she was one of those remarkable people who, no matter how brief or long your interaction with her was, she always made you feel like you had a special relationship with her. And you don't know that until you hear everybody else who had that very special relationship with her. And of course, it was because Leslie herself was so very special in so many ways and that empathy that people spoke about. If there's one word, which there can't be one word, but uh, that most summarizes my impression of, of how she lived her life, it was exuberance that revolutionary optimism, but with even more spirit, not just intellectual optimism, but just exuberance for the struggle for life, for humanity, and for moving the struggle forward. She also had this remarkable uh, unity of opposites. She was so fierce and aggressive against the class enemy. But she knew how that attitude of fierce aggressiveness should be directed against the class enemy and not towards comrades or friends or even new people just who might, because of all the layers of capitalist oppression and history, would make this slight, whether in body language or facial expression, use the wrong pr pronoun, do something that would be offensive for which she would have the right to be offended. But she wouldn't take offense, or if she did, she didn't show it, but rather showed the compassion and warmth and winning to try to win that person and bring them around rather than to wall them off or write them off. And a lovely quality. Leslie was, in my opinion, the best of what we would call a scientist in the best possible sense of the word. Systematic uh, study of society, of physics and, and surroundings and all of that. And she taught herself, as was explained, no formal education that might have helped her in, in doing that. But she, she, as a scientist, she grasped and tried to understand and grasp and explain. And she had that wonderful quality of being able to explain it without jargon, where scientists, those of my colleagues who are professional scientists, often use the jargon to obscure or to show how smart they are or learned and so on. Leslie wasn't about that. She was trying to explain and could take the most complex concepts of Marxism or psychology or whatever and put it in that simple, clear, yet profound language that could bring people from here to there. And to paraphrase a famous quote, she was a that type of scientist who was not merely trying to explain, though she did try to explain the world in this or that in particular way. Her whole life was dedicated not just to explain it, but to change it.